Yo, what's going on guys? We're back today for another war. And this one we're gonna do a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you guys all the fights I have. So we got that Jessica Jones mini boss, that spot mini boss, this Rintra mini boss, this void fight on path nine, this mystic spidey fight on path nine, and then these two fights in section one, this Valkyrie and this Terax. So it's actually really early in the war and I'm completely free to do all my fights at this point. So I was like super hyped. I was like, bro, yes. Like normally it takes a while for like, there's usually like one fight left up that I'm waiting for someone to clear. Once that goes down, you know, then I can do my fights or maybe another one of my mini bosses is locked behind another mini boss that someone else has to clear first. Typically that's what happens, but this war, things just lined up it was just open early i was like this is so perfect because i had stuff i wanted to do that day so i was just able to just do war at this point and then be done so i was super super excited um so getting here had this terax fight i hit like a, a parry there it was like a long distance parry i don't know it's a little weird uh is terax's hitbox like really extended with his axe i guess i don't know but yeah that fight was a joke of course with absorber man then we have this fight here, a Valkyrie, little Valkyrie on Valkyrie action. Um, should be a pretty simple fight. I don't think Valkyrie's a very good defender, so uh, I don't mind fighting her at all. I'm basically gonna be playing her stun immune as well, um, I think, and just basically doing my own thing with Valkyrie. Dude, I, I really like Valkyrie. I really like playing her. Um, I think... She just has so much potential because she can just turn off most of the game just by hitting their block. It's it's insane. I think Valkyrie is just such a good character, man. I <laughs> it's crazy. Like I I always thought she was good, but you know once she actually came out and everyone started playing her, now I see how good, how freaking good she really is, and it is is nuts. Top three skill class for sure, man. In my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this fight is uh, it's just about over. Just trying to get her to block. Boom. There we go. That was like 13,000 damage from just my medium into her block. Not bad. You know, not too shabby. So there's section one. No problems at all. Go ahead and move now to section two. Now, this was the fight that I, I wasn't initially worried about, but uh, my officer man was like, hey, uh, Clown is going to send you you know, some tips on fighting the Spider-Man because he's done it with Absorbed Mask. I was like, cool. So Clown kind of told me what to do. He's like, all right, stick to special ones. You know, be careful of the miss. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, got that. Let's run it. He's like, you should probably throw on an invulnerability boost just in case. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's a pretty good idea, right? And of course, we're going to stay in black Uru form because uh, this node has the uh, shocks and bleeds. So, for the fight, hit him with medium, boom, to trigger the uh, the invisibility, all right? And uh, this, this node has one eye open, so that means if I attack him while he's stunned, I'm going to take whatever damage I do to him, I, I also take. So, don't really want to be hitting him when he is stunned. So, boom. Okay, he shows special ones, taken in the block. Right there, I don't know what happened right there. It's like, I missed, my attack just completely missed, but he didn't active, it, like, but it wasn't a miss. Like, it wasn't an actual miss. It was really weird, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, at this point now, we start pushing him to special twos. And I need to dex these, because I think if you block them, or get hit by them, you take like a big burst of damage or something. The special one here, I mess up, I hit him when I shouldn't have, got hit, didn't hurt too much, gave him a special two. This fight, you know, it's not going great, but it's going, it is going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hide my webcam uh, for the rest to show you guys, so you can, just so you can see his power clearly. So, he just keeps getting so much power, and I, I think this guy cannot benefit from Mystic Dispersion, he gets his power from other sources. Not exactly sure how it works, but damn, the power was getting out of control. Uh, he was just getting so freaking much power. It was really, really difficult to keep up with. Uh, here, go ahead and throw my special. And 33% more to go. But yeah, see, I hit his miss, and then boom, he just gets like a massive burst of power. Here, he gets a special two. He throws it. Uh, and then he's about to get like another special two. Yeah, boom. He's got another special two. It was just special two after special two after special two, man. That's... I was trying to bait special ones, but I just, I couldn't, I just could not. So, he's down 13% health, his miss is about to go away. 
Looking for a good opening here. All right, gotta re-trigger the miss. He's at another special two. Gotta bait this out, but oh, I need to refresh my form. Throw the special one. Hoping it would kill. No, 1%. 1% health. Now he throws the special three instantly, of course. And I'm just here like praying, please, absorb man, please, please somehow survive. We do somehow survive and just we're rooted, but we just throw that special one. And somehow we make it out of there alive. That was horrible. Hor I new champ. I really despise fighting mystic Spidey. All right. Added to the list. God damn. That was horrible. It's horrible. Dude. I didn't think mystic Spider-Man was going to be that bad of a defender like months and months ago like when he when he came out i didn't think he was gonna be that bad because i thought he was so squishy he had like such a tiny health pool but he he is very punishing if you mess up and it is very easy to mess up against him so maybe i should rank mine up maybe i need to rank mine up i don't know but uh yeah after using a crap load of potions i've already been super low on potions this season compared to like the last two or three seasons and boom i just had to use a bunch more so that's not great but uh so for this fight i went ahead and used power start one and i'm just trying to race race to three bars of power so that uh, i can just get my special three and get a, a long pause duration on our uru form get some increased critical rate and also get a nice little cruelty passive so Go ahead, gonna go for the special three here. Uh, I didn't want to do this against Mystic Spider-Man because I just thought it'd be too sketchy, risky to, to get to that special three. Like my form was, was constantly falling off in that fight. Couldn't hit him, couldn't hit him while he was stunned. Um, but yeah, here, right there, I got hit by a void special two. Which, when that happened in the fight, I was like, what? Like, no, that what? I was so confused. Watching it back, I don't know what i still am not sure what happened really really not sure and so i wasn't he had those power sting debuffs on me so i couldn't use my special one to to refresh my form so i'm like okay i gotta go for another special three wasn't planning on getting hit by a special two i avoid special two is one of the easiest in the game to get away from or just block or you know decks like one of the East in the game. I've never, ever, in all my years playing this game, have had a problem with Void Specials. Neither of them. I don't know how that one hit me. But uh, we're going to make damn sure it doesn't happen again. And we end up taking him down. We did take uh, some damage there. But I'm pretty sure that was my last Absorb Man fight. So it's actually okay. Now, this is the fight I was a little worried about. Here we have a Rank 4 Rentro with Aspect of Evolution, Feats of Power, and Rich Get Richer. And so apparently I was supposed to wait for some Odin pre-fights so that, you know, I could have more buffs so that, you know, I'd be getting the power gain here. But I kind of, I didn't even realize I was supposed to. And I just went in here brazenly. Um, but yeah, I just dex at the start, boom, give myself one buff. And you see now my power is just passively going up uh, very fast. So boom, get off a special two already. Only have one pierce effect. I have never thrown a special two with Valkyrie that quick before in a fight. Um, and then here, gonna go ahead and throw, or here, yeah, I, I should have thrown that special two. I really should have because I decided to bait this first, which is a big blunder. Cause now I just get too much power and I go red. I was, I was slightly worried about this fight. I, I didn't think I would be having this problem of just too much power, but it's okay. <laughs> So go ahead, throw the special three. It applies and intimidate, but it feels like this intimidate doesn't even work, man. He's still dashing at me. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm really not the biggest fan of the intimidate, unless I'm like cornered. Unless I'm like cornered and I just want to intimidate the opponent so that they kind of just back off. That's like the real only time I want to be using the intimidate for the most part, uh, personally. Otherwise, I just make the AI do what I want, anyways. And if and, and if I do have them intimidated, it feels like they don't do what I want. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, throw that special two and then do a combo. There goes 50% of Rinchra's health. And we cr absolutely crushed that fight. I was like, wow, I did not think that fight was gonna go so well, but it did. And I'm really glad. So now go ahead and pop a, uh, a refill for some units. And here first we have a spot. And then we have a Jessica Jones mini boss here. So spot 250K health, uh, rank four. We got Polka Dot Power. 
and uh, stunning reflection, so we're not going to be able to parry this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and go for another invulnerability boost. This will persist to the, the next fight. I'm the Jessica Jones as well. I'm going to be using Valkyrie for that fight, so this 200% uh, boost could be... Well, I don't think block hits work for it with Valkyrie. I don't actually, I'm not sure. It probably doesn't, but I just do not, because why not? Um, but uh, yeah, spot here. So right there, try to punish that first heavy. I was a little slow. I was like, okay, that's the timing. Got it. I'll, you see, I'll punish the, all of these now right away. Won't have any problems punishing that heavy anymore. Uh, I do make a bit of a, a mistake in this fight. So I, I think best bet probably would have just been to use a power start one. And uh, I recently learned, I didn't know this when I was doing the fight, but after posting one of my previous wars where I, I fought a spot with Nick Fury, uh, I guess the dis if you have a disorient on spot, he cannot gain spots. I didn't know that. So here I just uh, I just hit him. Uh, just to, to you know get the untouchable going, whatever. I took some damage. I, it's fine. It's, it's all good. Um, I have plenty of health to work with. I have a second life to work with. But uh, yeah, I didn't know that about spot. So now going forward, I know that very easy way to counter spot is just, yeah, just use my special one and he can't even gain spots uh, as long as that disorient is up there, which is uh, really sick. I didn't know that. And unfortunately, it's a common trend in this war, uh, getting hit by an opponent special three when they're under 5% health. Very fun. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and eat a special three here from spot. It tickles. We're still in the first life. We're totally fine. So another special one. Uh, we have so many tactical charges that uh, we're countering his miss. And he's dead. So, yeah. I really like Nick Fury against Spots. Uh, very comfortable with that matchup. Because Nick is just so good for it. And yeah, I was actually, I was doing some Thronebreaker EQ last night. And I was using Spot. And I had Disorient debuff on me. And I wasn't even able to like activate my portal block. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, Disorient just super shuts down Spot. Alright, that, that's good to know. Someone in the comments on one of my last videos said that. Now that's something I'll never forget about Spot. I thought I knew a lot about Spot, but it's more so offensively. It's always cool to learn new things about a character you really like. Um, so it's going to help me fighting going forward. But yeah, next up here now we have a Jessica Jones. So this note has brute force, so I'm not able to just you know do the typical Valkyrie in the block strategy. Uh, we do still want to be throwing the special twos in the block. But uh, yeah, for the most part here, we want to actually be hitting her. So here I'm going to go ahead and invert my combo so I can get a bulwark. Um, so why not? Why not? Then three of combos, go ahead and disable that, fix my combo. We're almost at uh, 20 hit combo, which will give us the third pierce buff that we need. Then we can go ahead and throw a nice special two in her block here. Boom, three pierce. Gets a little perfect block there. That's kind of annoying, and we didn't shrug off all the weakness, but it does some decent damage. We're down to 50% now. She is going to be going unblockable note though now that she's built up her charges, and I think now she's also going to be going unblockable uh, pretty soon here. I think when I don't know if it's when either of us throw a special or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I just got to keep actually hitting her occasionally to avoid that brute force. Uh, she is passively unstoppable here, but that's the great thing about Valkyrie, Sick 200, which is one pierce, so we totally counter that. Um, and everything's going great, but I think she is about to go unblockable here in a second. Maybe it's when I throw my special. Um, let's see. She was kind of cornering me here, did a little sidestep on me. So yeah, here I'm just going to throw the special, I'm getting cornered. And we, of course, we don't shrug off the deep, the, the, the weakness debuffs, and here she's unblockable. I'm a little scared at this point. Uh, luckily, though, here she holds block, and that's just a 10,000 uh, medium into her block, and she dies. So, yeah, the fight started to get a little sketchy towards the end there when she's passively unblockable and unstoppable. But uh, we got her down, and we didn't die. Lots of lots of items this war, but uh, and some close calls, but we didn't die. So, that's all that matters to me. Unfortunately, though, we did lose this war. A, a very close one. We had five deaths. They had four. <sighs> Sucks, man. So we have one final war this season, and we need to win it to secure top 10 of Masters. We have Masters locked in, but we need one final win now to secure top 10. So stay on the lookout for the next war video. I'm currently in that war right now. I haven't even done my fights yet. A little nervous, but uh, yeah, I'm just excited for season rewards. Once we do that opening, I'll also be doing my next rank four in that video, taking a chance for rank four, seek 200. 
which I'm very excited to do. So be on the lookout for those videos. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Peace out, guys.